Well, the, the, the thing is that we met with the president and um, we expected that the issues we agreed upon will be truthfully captured. Um, we've been there. The God, the, the, we, we just discovered that the Ministry of Ed Education, um, under the leadership of Wiki, have just deliberately refused to capture um, the, the events that transpired truthfully. And um, the union insists that the first step uh, in confidence building, sincerity, is for the minister to capture what transpired truthfully. And TUC was there, NLC was there. So it's not as if ASU is just cooking up some, some, some new stories. The next thing we heard from the minister was that uh, we are making new demands. How? Everything that was discussed was discussed around the 2009 agreement. Now, he's come out with this threat of, of strike. And then we want to ask him, why did he choose the date of Yai's burial as his uh, dead, deadline? So we want to really know why, what we, curiously, why did he choose December 4th, the date we are supposed to honor Yai? Today we are supposed to bury Yai. And, and that takes us to the question of Yai. A lot of people have said that you should have honored Yai by calling off the strike at least because he died in the in the course of the in the course of the struggle. What's your real attitude to that? Um I don't know the type of logic you can use to defend that. Is it that we should bury Yai first and call off the strike? Or Somebody died in the course of the struggle. You've not buried the person. You've not honored the person. And you want us to, to call off the strike in order for us to bury him. And again, the, the burial of Yai is it a function of us or a function of his family? Why must Yai be tied around the strike? Those are, those are questions we should ask. Uh, you see, the point is that we are in a nation where people should really interrogate our leaders. As I speak to you now, Unity School, they're on strike. Polytechnics are on strike. Universities are on strike. The Minister of Education is not bothered about all this because those are the core area of his ministry. In, at the federal level, apart from universities, polytechnics, and uh, Unity School, what again is we can doing in government. If all these people are on strike, what is it doing in government? It's only in Nigeria you keep that type of minister. The entire sector he's heading is in crisis. And people have not bothered to ask themselves. And the, again too, you ask, which one is easier to do? Implementing what you decided on some three weeks ago. If they were honest that they are going to do this thing, why the threat? It shows one thing, that the interest of the government is simply to make ASU call up the strike. And if there is anything they are going to do, even deceiving ASU, they are ready. But we are intellectual. If we can, we can read both your voice and your lips, we can read the body language and the body pronouncements. And so we are telling Jonathan, that, look, it's enough of these pranks. You cannot play pranks with the life of Nigerian students. Let them, let them publish what we agreed on and tell us the aspects that have been implemented within that three weeks. All the promises that they will do in 2013, what have they done? We are still in 2013, less than five weeks or they're about to go. Maybe they thought if they don't pay us, we will hurriedly go back to classrooms. And now they are getting frustrated. Four months running, we are not even talking about the salaries. Um, for students, yes, they are the victims. If the educational system is bad, they are victims. If we are on strike, they are victims. But what type of victim do they want to be? Is it the one that is perpetual or the one that is temporary? Today, a student that is learning on that tree, a student that is using kerosene stove as bouncing burner, a student that is living 16 man for a four man room, that student is definitely a victim. A graduate that is described as half-baked, that graduate is an eternal victim. So we know what is right, and we will insist that the government should do what is right. Is it not this government that floated 12 universities at the same time? So why are they? Why did they float universities? They don't have they don't they don't they don't have money to fund. 
That's the question we are asking the government. But as it's right now, how many of those demands would, or how many of those agreements would you see fulfilled and say, okay, we are now convinced at this point that we can go back to school? Number one, government said they are going to inject 200 billion in 2013. This is November 29. Have they done that? The non victimization clause. That one will not cost them any money. They've agreed that every quarter they are going to be injecting 252 billion each quarter. Have they done that? You see, th these things are laid out. Whenever we get to the point of implementation, whether of the MOU or the NIST assessment or the online agreement or this recent one, Whenever we get to the point of implementation, we always get this type of statements from government. And it boils down on the fact that they are ruling with falsehood. They are ruling out of a spirit of insincerity. And so long as we have that, we we'll continue to have problems. Otherwise, if I say I'm owe you, I want to pay you, come on Friday. If the money is not there on Friday, I should be honorable enough to say that look, I don't have the money now. Come on Monday. But if I make the come a regular thing. Then you know I'm not sincere. Okay. Even this last document governments have written, at the point of 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 capturing it, there was insincerity. Mm. So let's assume at this point right now, government pays for this year. Would that solve the Once government fulfills the obligation, why are we still we'll call off the strike immediately? So that would automatically make you believe that even without having to sign uh, having the signature of those you require to put down their signature in, this, in the MOU you are, you are asking, asking for to be signed with you, if government pays for this year... What is wrong, what is wrong with Attorney General signing a government document? Is that a big thing? Attorney General signing a government... What is wrong with Labour, the President of Nigerian Labour Congress, as, as it, uh, that witnessed the event? What is wrong with him signing the document? Did he say he's going to sign? What is wrong? Government is the one that is saying that they don't, they don't want this people to sign. Because the other ones they signed, they denied them. Mm. Somebody came and said the person, people who signed the, 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 the agreement don't know their left from their right. Uh, the SUG said, why should a permanent secretary sign a document that runs into billions? So today we are telling them to get the proper people to sign it. They cause the problem of who should sign and who should not sign? We have an attorney general from the federation. He should sign it. What's the problem with an attorney general signing a document that government itself wrote? And at this point, there's also the question of if the money is eventually released, is the university or are the lecturers going to be the ones to make use of... It's university council, university council to build hostels, to buy facilities and equipment. It's not lecturers. We are saying, give us the tools that we use for our job. They are, they, they are going to refurbish classrooms. Is it lecturers? It is their own contractors that will benefit from the money. Ultimately, will I leave my job to go and supply books to the library? Okay, let's finally. Where in this world will lecturers be forcing governments to equip his schools? Where in this world? Let us finally consider an assumption that government eventually carries out its threat on December 4th. Are you resolved to leave the job for the struggle? Or what alternative do you have? Look, we are not, we are not the type of people that are jobless anywhere in this world. Anywhere in this world. Maybe Wiki have carried out its own assessment and he has discovered that there are a lot of PhD holders roaming the streets. A lot of professors roaming the streets. And then within one day, He's going to employ lecturers for all fields in 61 universities across the country. So your reaction to that is... You Let him... Bother. December 4th is around. He gave himself December 4th. By December 4th, he carried out his threat. 